Hello, what we have here is the um, electronics for a uh, food dehydrator that I'm building right now. This is just a proof of concept mock-up of the controls and the uh, wiring. Probably a little bit overdone, uh, but uh, the basic idea here is that when you're dehydrating food you want a constant flow of air. So we have a fan. Oh, sorry, power's off. So we have main power, this is our fan, and this is our light on off, which is our heat source. So I turn the fan on, there it goes. And if I turn the light on, there it goes. And here we have a, turn the light off so there's not background light. Gish. Okay, here we have a temperature controller, which is from eBay, which I got from for, from Quebec, and it cost $8, including shipping. And here I'm holding the little temperature probe. So I have it set right now for uh, 25, and it's in heating mode. It comes also in cooling mode. And so the idea is when the whole dehydrator is assembled, this fan will be the entry point of the air into the box. The light will bulb will be behind it in a trench and then the air will blow up into the dehydrator. So here the idea is that I want to cycle the light bulb on and off as a heat source to provide a fairly constant temperature within the box. So right now the temperature sensor is in front of the light bulb and once it goes over 25 it's got a bit of an overshoot which I have to uh, look into correcting. warming up from the light, the heat of the light, now it turns off. And uh, since there's no air flowing over the temperature sensor, it's going to take a while to cool down on its own. But really what would happen if it was in the dehydrator, it, was a, it would have an air flow over it, cooling it. So you can watch the temperature go down as I place it in front of the fan. And as it drops below 25, you'll see the light come back on. There it goes. So, a bit about the design here. I wanted to have um, backlit uh, lights. Now, for the fan, since it's running on 12 volts DC, uh, the lamp that was in this switch was not functioning. It, they're only designed to function on 120 volts. So I thought, okay, I will take the lamp out and put an LED in. So there is a little bit of light, but not nearly as much light as the 120 volt lamp provides within the light. And this is just our simple on off switch. Kills the power to the whole circuit. The idea here is that when I turn this on, it powers up the circuitry in here. Uh, powers up our step-down transformer, which is line current 120 to 12 volts AC, which then goes into this DC conversion circuit with a full bridge rectifier here, so that you get rectification for both the positive and sine, the positive and negative nodes of the sine wave. Here we have a voltage regulator, which basically takes the roughly 17 or 18 volts that comes out of the rectifier and brings it down to 12 volts. The capacitor here is for smoothing the current, taking those little humps out before it enters the regulator, the voltage regulator. From there, I'm sorry, from there, the power goes back into the circuitry and feeds all the low voltage controls, which include the fan, the low voltage switch, the temperature controller and right behind here the relay which powers the light. Now this circuit board does have a relay which is rated for 125 volts at 10 amps but I figured you know it's just a cheap part better have a fail safe so all the switching is done with this external relay. So basically this relay turns on 
closes the contacts and juices up this relay which closes the contacts and turns on the light bulb. Now, the way I've designed this is that the light bulb will only turn on if this switch here is turned on. Even if this is calling for heat and this light switch is off, this light bulb will not turn on unless the switch is turned on and this unit is calling for heat. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully the um, full version will be completed in the new year and uploaded. I will upload a link to the uh, schematic that I have um, made for this uh, and a link for the description for this uh, temperature controlling unit. Um, small note is that uh, the length of wire on this is only about 30 centimeters which is for you imperial guys 12 inches uh, so that will be a subject that has to be addressed. Thanks for watching.